YouTube is Textbook on Bad, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to image map. Now, for those of you sitting there saying, what is an image map? What is this guy talking about? Why am I even watching this tutorial? Well, you do know what an image map is. Trust me, most of you have probably seen an image map at least once on the internet because they're very popular on the internet, and you just probably didn't know that it was an image map. Now, an image map is basically taking a certain image and putting a map over it, and that map contains um, the information for different locations of that image. And you can set different locations of that image to link to different URLs. Now, um, uh, co the most common place that I've seen image maps being used is on MySpace. A lot of professional musicians have their MySpace banner saying, message me, add me, visit my website, visit my store, buy my merchandise, buy my CD, whatever. But the MySpace banner always has a bunch of links in the banner. Now, the MySpace banner is one image, but it also has a bunch of different links. Now, those links are made by image mapping. You take that one picture and you put a button saying message me, add me, um, uh, buy my stuff, buy my CD, whatever, and then you image map all those stuff, you image map the message me button to link to um, the message me area of MySpace, the comment me button to link to the comments area of MySpace, the add me button to link to the add me area of his MySpace. That's all done with image mapping. Now, if you still are saying, what is this guy talking about? I've never seen an image map before. Or if you still don't get what I'm saying, here is an, um, here is an example of an image map that I made. This is actually what I'm going to be teaching you guys how to make today. So here's the image map. It says, follow TSGB at textforgonbad.com. You click it, guess where it takes you. It takes you to textforgonbad.com. There you go. Back to the image map. The next one is myspace.com slash tsgb. You click it, and guess what? It takes you to myspace.com slash tsgb. Going back to the image again, the last one is twitter.com slash tsgb. You click it, and guess what? It goes to twitter.com slash tsgb. And that is an image map. I have one image, and I took different locations of that image and made them link all to different URLs. So let's get started on learning how to do this today. Now, at first, when making this tutorial, I wanted to teach you guys how to make it from scratch. Take the HTML code and just make it, just insert all the information and just make it like that. Now, that is very time consuming, first of all, and it just didn't work because I got really aggravated. So, what I did was I um, went on a search, I Google searched an, a good image map generator. And I tested out a lot of them, and the one I found the most helpful, or the one the most useful, the most easy to use, was this one. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's spelled M-E-R-A-C-L, Image Map Generator. Now, you want to go to this website. Um, the link's very long, so I'm just going to leave the link in the video description. You just want to click the link, go to this website, website, and just download the program. It should be just like any other program download and once you have downloaded the program you just want to open it up so let it load and here is the program itself now you want to open up your image first of all so you want to go to file new image map load image from hard drive and open up the image in this case my image is named follow tsgb.jpg so I'm gonna double click on that and it's gonna open up your image and it's also gonna bring up the settings tab now it's gonna say how many maps you want so use maps in this case I want to do three and you don't have to fill in the rest of the information so I'm just gonna press OK once you have pressed OK now this is where you want to actually start applying the image maps you have the choice of a circle a polygon or a rectangle so let's say you want to choose a circle image map you just click and drag the circle onto your image and as you can see it makes a circle for you you can make it bigger smaller whatever you want as long as it fits your image size in this case I don't want it to circle so I'm gonna go to image delete shape in this case I want a rectangle so I'm gonna cl click and drag on the new rectangle icon and I'm gonna fit it so it fits where it says textforkombat.com and then I want to apply a link to it um, just, I'm gonna link it to obviously textforkombat.com so don't forget to put http colon slash slash www dot and then your link. Doesn't have to be textbookonbad.com, obviously. You could put your own link. And the frame target, you could just leave it as nothing. Don't mess with it. And the it'll, the, it'll link to the same page. So it'll reload that same tab to that link. 
or you could leave or you could choose the blank frame target and it'll open it up in a new tab in this case that's what I'm going to do and I'm just going to do it for this one too so I just need two more times in this case is myspace.com slash tsgb and one last one on twitter.com slash tsgb and that's it you are done with your image mapping now once you are done you want to click on file and click save image map now you have two options either you want to copy your HTML code to your clipboard or you want to save the HTML code to file um, saving a HTML code will let you open it up later but in this case I don't want to do that so I'm just going to copy my the HTML code and press OK and it just says it has successfully copied it to your clipboard <laughs> and now you want to paste it to anywhere that takes a shell code. In this case, I'm going to paste it to a new page on TechSportCombat.com. I'm going to name the page um, Image Map Test, and I'm going to paste the HTML code. Now, this program is not perfect. There's one flaw and only one flaw that I found with the program. If you look over here, it says Image Source, and then it'll say your file name. Now there's no way that it's going to know which file to use because that file name is not located on my website server. So what you want to do is go to a website hosting um, website or an image hosting website like tinypic.com, photobucket.com, stuff like that and you want to upload that image. So I'm going to upload the follow TSGB image to tinypic.com. Uploading. Please wait. So give it a second here. and then you want to just copy the direct link for layouts and then you want to replace the file name in this case it's follow tsgb.jpg you want to replace that file name with the direct link to that file that you just uploaded and once you have done that everything should work fine so I'm going to press save draft and I'm going to preview it so once it loads up let's give it the test follow tsgb at TextForCombat.com. You click it, and it should go to TextForCombat.com. And just like that, it went to TextForCombat.com. Going back to the image, MySpace.com/tsgb. You click on it, and just like that, MySpace.com/tsgb. Now, for the last two, I just noticed that I forgot to set the target to blank. So, see if you select myspace.com slash tsgb you see that the frame target is not set to blank so that's why it opened up in the same page so let's go back and let's select the last one twitter.com slash tsgb and again it opens up in the same page because I forgot to set the target to blank and there you go twitter.com slash tsgb so that is how to make an image map It's very simple using this program and another thing that I really like about this program is that if you ever have any trouble using the program or you just don't get how to use a certain aspect of the program just click on this help section right here just click on the help link and it will open up a new tab in, in your web browser Mozilla Firefox whatever and it will have all of the questions all the questions that you could possibly think of for the for the program and just click on the question you want let's just the first one let's choose the first one and there you go it has the question answer right there and that's a really cool thing about the program because it could help you out just like that right away so that is how to image map an image it was one of my most commonly asked questions so I decided I should make a tutorial on it soon but yeah um, I hope this tutorial helped you out and if it did please take a look at my website textporkonbad.com and please subscribe to my YouTube channel at youtube.com slash textporkonbad until the next tutorial I'll see you guys later